Hi guys, Everyday Knife Guy here, and today I got a quick uh, Swiss Army knife overview for you. This was a recent birthday gift from my wife. Comes in the usual uh, Victorinox uh, silver grey box there, and on the end we can see this is the compact in classic Victorinox red. This is uh, quite a nice little knife. It's a uh, two layer, and what is this? An eighty-four millimeter. This is uh, me doing my homework before I start uh, start a knife review. It is uh, well, I guess it's what ninety millimeter. Is that right? Eighty-nine. 89 millimeter is what we're going to call it. Uh, 89 millimeter two layer Victorinox, and it is in the classic red, as I said, and the Celador scales. And this is quite a cool little knife because it packs a lot of functionality into the two layers, which is obviously great for EDC because it's really super thin, um, and you're not going to feel this in the bottom of your pocket at all. But um, in this format, it packs in a lot of tools. So let's see what we have. We have the standard main blade. And back here we have the the, uh, the combo tool on this one, which does away with uh, kind of does away with one of the layers really because you're combining your cantler and cap lifter into one. Also the wire stripper on here and small flat header. It's actually so thin on here you could it's pretty much almost like a small prying tool really, but a small flat head screwdriver on the end there. And uh, sorry my camera's not not feeling like focusing today. And one of my favourite tools, of course, this has the full size scissors in this side. So that is the kind of the main side, if you like. And uh, these in their cells in such a small, um, thin package really makes this tool for me. So um, we have the scissors, combo tool, main blade on that side. Uh, around here we have the corkscrew, which I don't use a lot, but. Um, do you ever have this thing like if you have a, a multi-tool on you or a Swiss Army knife on you and you know you, there's a task comes up you've got a whole box of screwdrivers sitting there but there's a screw that needs tightened you got to get your Swiss Army knife out and do it you just got to use it because it's your EDC and you kind of feel like you should and you get some enjoyment out of it or maybe that's just me but that's how I feel about things so if there is a bottle of wine that um, isn't a screw cap and there's traditional cork or synthetic cork and it needs to be opened I will literally go the entire length of the house if I don't have one of these in my pocket I'll go the entire length of the house to get one of these and go open it with that rather than using the uh, expensive um, automatic opener or any of the other corkscrews that we have lying around in the kitchen so I like the fact that there's a corkscrew on it for those rare occasions and uh, also that houses the eyeglass screwdriver which is quite a neat little mini screwdriver again if we can get some focus on here Oops. You can see that's just a, basically a mini flathead. And uh, one thing I never really realized until fairly recently is what you're supposed to do with this is not take it out and fiddle around with it like this, although of course you can if you're tightening a small screw, that's going to be, you know, plenty maneuverable. But you can actually screw it in here, Oops, screw it into the corkscrew in reverse, of course, and then you can use it as a driver like that with your, uh, with your actual main tool. Anyway, something I didn't really, didn't really pick up on quite slow about things like that. Let's close up the corkscrew and see what else we have. On this side uh, you can see there's uh, a rough file on this part so you can actually use that when the tool is closed if you wish to file down your nail um, but better if it's open. Let's pull open the, what we have here which is the hook and it's something I've never really found much use for but I can see where it would be practical um, you know for carrying something it's going to be a lot more comfortable to hold it on you know, if it had a thin handle or a wire or something, you could carry it or pull it with this. Um, so it has a hook and it has that nail file on the spine, so there's an extra tool incorporated there. Close that one up. It has a keyring on the end, of course. And it has three tools actually within the body of the scales. So let's see what we have. We have the standard um, tweezers on this side. And around here we have the standard toothpick. And another nice addition is the pen um, and that's a bit unusual and unusual I think to find it on a Swiss Army knife, sorry I film this whole video is out of focus uh, unusual to find it on a Swiss Army knife it's only a two layer um, I'm sure someone can uh, correct me on this or provide the relevant information on this but um, I don't know if there's any other Swiss Army knives that are so thin like a two or three layer that actually have a pen um, I guess there must be but not that I know certainly not a two layer and uh, the only other ones that I have that have it are the uh, Swiss Champ, so quite
quite nice to have a pen on there, a nice little addition for your EDC. And as I say, being so small and light and definitely thin for your pocket, it is, I think, pretty much um, pretty much perfect as an EDC Swiss Army knife. So um, if you're looking for a Celador scale model as opposed to a nylon or Alox, this is definitely worth a look. In the classic red here, it looks really nice. I might change those scales out just because I'm compulsive about doing that and making it a little different. But for now it's going to stay red and this will be my EDC sack for a little while I think. So thanks for watching guys. I will have more videos coming soon hopefully and uh, have a great day. Thank you.